Warriors are plate-wearing juggernauts of steel, using only their raw strength and rage to dominate their opponents. No fancy spells or trickery here, just muscle, grit, and an indomitable will to destroy. Warriors smash through their opponents and have long been the best tank in PvE since vanilla. This changes in Wrath. Warriors are a class that received some of the most changes in Wrath of any class, and these changes gear them up to be a complete wrecking ball in PvP, and not only a viable DPS in PvE, but also one of the strongest endgame DPS classes in the entire game. One of the biggest additions to Warrior's armaments is the ability to remove Ice Block and Divine Protection using a new ability called Shattering Throw. Throws your weapon at the enemy, causing damage and reducing the armor on the target by 20% for 10 seconds or removing any invulnerabilities. Warriors can pop, bubble, and Ice Block. This is huge. There's also in Enraged Regeneration. You regenerate 30% of your total health over 10 seconds. This ability requires an Enrage effect, consumes all Enrage effects, and prevents any from affecting you for the full duration. There is also Heroic Throw, which throws your weapon at the enemy, causing damage. This ability causes high threat, finally giving warriors a nice ranged uh, pull ability. But besides these new abilities, the warrior talent tree has received so many changes. Arms, which has long been a PvP spec, which has some new talents which add value to the raid, Fury which has always been a powerful PvE spec since vanilla and has become one of the strongest endgame specializations now for PvE DPS and Wrath, also received some new PvP talents. And last, Protection finally received more AoE threat generation and mobility talents. Let's take a closer look at some of these talents starting with Arms. So the Arms talent tree received talents from other trees right off the bat. Blizzard can't seem to decide whether Sweeping Strikes should be in the Fury or Arms tree. In Vanilla, it was in Arms, then in TBC, it was moved to Fury, and now in Wrath, it's back to Arms. Tactical Mastery also moved from the Arms tree to the Prot tree in TBC, and now it's back to Arms in Wrath. Also, Improved Slam moved to Arms from Fury. Other than talent moves, though, the Arms tree also receives some very powerful new talents, such as Taste for Blood. Whenever your rend ability causes damage, you have a 100% chance of allowing the use of your overpower ability for nine seconds. One charge it cannot occur more than once every six seconds. Overpower being a very iconic, powerful arms ability, having a very high chance to crit. Trauma is also another new arms ability, more PvE focused, but your melee critical strikes increase the effectiveness of bleed effects on the target by 30% for one minute. Bleed, cleave it up. This is a very nice raid-wide debuff, which helps rogues, druids, other warriors, anyone who causes bleed effects. And also there's the very niche arena team, bleed cleave, which is a feral druid and a warrior. There's also strength of arms, increases your total strength and stamina by 4% and your expertise by four. Nice little buff there. There's also Juggernaut. Your charge ability is now usable while in combat, but the cooldown on charge is increased by five seconds. Following a charge, your next slam or mortal strike has an additional 25% chance to critically hit if used within 10 seconds. Very, very strong new ability for the arms tree. Really PvP focused, but also has a nice PvE application. Unrelenting Assault is another new talent in the arms tree, which reduces the cooldown of your overpower and revenge abilities by four seconds and increases the damage done by both abilities by 20 percent in addition if you strike a player with overpower while they are casting their magical damage and healing will be reduced by 50 percent for six seconds so this is very powerful for pvp obviously it gives you tons of reasons to attack healers and spellcasters with overpower uh, overall very very strong new pvp talent there's also sudden death your melee hits have a nine percent chance of allowing the use of execute regardless of the target's health state. In addition, you keep at least 10 rage after using execute. Execute is a massive damage dealing ability and being able to use that regardless of your target's health is insane. It dumps all your rage except for 10. You'll always keep 10 now if you get this talent. Uh, to do a huge burst of damage is very strong. Sudden death, incredibly powerful new talent for both PvE and PvP. And there's also Wrecking Crew. Your melee critical hits enrage you 
increasing all damage caused by 10% for 12 seconds. This effect does not stack with Enrage. This is very similar to the Fury Tree Enrage, uh, but it's for arms, and this is 10% all damage, so very, very nice. And it's not when you get hit, it's when you critically hit. So very nice uh, for the arms tree. And finally, at the bottom of the arms tree, we have a amazing new ability called Blade Storm. Instantly whirlwind up to four nearby targets, and for the next six seconds, you will perform a whirlwind attack every one second. While under the effects of Bladestorm, you can move, but cannot perform any other abilities, but you do not feel pity or remorse or fear, and you cannot be stopped unless killed. Very powerful ability in PvP, absolutely unstoppable uh, burst damage you'd have to just run away from, uh, so it's very powerful. Now that we've talked about arms, let's switch gears and talk a little bit about Fury. So Death Wish is back in the Fury tree, started there in vanilla, TBC brought it to arms, and now it's back to Fury. Improved Intercept was moved back from arms to Fury after being originally in the Fury tree as well in vanilla. There's a new talent called Armored to the Teeth, which increases your attack power by three for every 108 armor value you have so that's kind of nice considering you're wearing plates there's also intensify rage which reduces the cooldown of your blood rage berserkers rage recklessness and death wish abilities by 33 percent it's actually pretty nice there's also furious attacks your normal melee attacks have a chance to reduce all healing done to the target by 25% for 10 seconds, stacking up to two times, giving that 50% standard Mortal Strike effect. So this is a very strong PvP ability, allowing Fury Warriors to have a Mortal Strike effect. Very, very nice. There's also Heroic Fury uh, in the Fury Tree, which removes all immobilization effects and refreshes the cooldown of your intercept ability. Of course, another PvP talent here, essentially like a trinket that resets your intercept as well. Uh, so it's very very nice uh not entirely a trinket just immobilization effects but still very strong for warriors much needed to uh, stick on their targets there's also a new talent called blood surge your heroic strike bloodthirst and whirlwind hits have a 20 percent chance of making your next slam instant for five seconds very nice burst of damage there being able to use slam instantly unending fury is another new talent which increases the damage done by your slam whirlwind and bloodthirst abilities by 10 percent which is very nice and finally at the bottom of the fury tree we have an iconic new Wrath of the Lich King talent called Titan's Grip, which allows you to equip two-handed axes, maces, and swords in one hand. While well, you have a two-handed weapon equipped in one hand, your physical damage done is reduced by 10%. This is a huge talent allowing warriors to use two two-handers, dual wielding, causing them to do some pretty insane damage. Now moving away from Fury, let's talk about the third and final warrior specialization, Protection. The newest talent in the Protection tree is called Incite. Increases the critical strike chance of your Heroic Strike, Thunderclap, and Cleave abilities by 15% certainly will help you generate threat. There's also improved spell reflection, reduces the chance you'll be hit by spells by 4%, and when the ability is used, it will reflect the first spell cast against the four closest party members within 20 yards. So it's not only a spell reflect for you, but also for four of your party members if they're close enough. So that's really, really nice. There's also vigilance, which you focus your protective gaze on a group or raid target, reducing their damage taken by 3% and transfers 10% of the threat they cause to you. In addition, each time they are hit by an attack, your taunt cooldown will be refreshed and it will last for 30 minutes, only usable on one target at a time. So that's very, very helpful, especially in, you know, a five-man group scenario. Safeguard, which reduces damage taken by the target of your intervene ability by 30% for six seconds. Very, very nice ability there. And a very fun ability is Warbringer. Your charge, intercept, and intervene abilities are now usable while in combat and in any any stance. In addition, your intervene ability will remove all movement impairing effects. So this is a talent that many say make warrior the funnest tank to play because you can just absolutely bounce all over the place using charge, intercept, and intervene pretty much at will. Uh, it's pr the most mobility out of any tank actually, being able to get work to where you need to be uh, to pick up a mob or whatever. So very fun ability. Critical block is also a new talent which causes your successful blocks to have a 60% chance to block double the normal amount and increases your chance to critically hit with your shield slam ability by an additional 15%. Shield slam, of course, being a very powerful threat generation ability. There's also a new talent called Sword and Board, which increases the critical strike chance of your devastate by 15%. And when your devastate or revenge ability deals damage, it has a 30% chance of refreshing the cooldown of your shield slam ability and reducing its cost 
by 100% for five seconds. So this is very nice, helps with tanking, helps with keeping threat. Very, very cool. There's also damage shield. Whenever you take damage from or block a melee attack, you cause damage equal to 20% of your block value. So obviously this is very, very nice for holding threat. You're dealing uh, damage all the time. It's almost like a thorn Zora. Shockwave is the new ability at the bottom of the protection tree, which gives warriors very, very nice linear AOE damage. Shockwave sends a wave of force in front of you, causing damage and stunning all enemy targets within 10 yards in a frontal cone for four seconds. So finally, warriors getting some better AOE threat generation. Now, when it comes to PvP, warriors are beasts. They are powerful in 2v2 with healer and can complement one of the most powerful arena teams, TSG, which is Warrior, Death Knight, Paladin. Warriors really, really shine in Wrath of the Lich King PvP because they finally have all the tools they need to completely dominate. Whether that's sticking to their targets, being able to spell reflect, being able to reset the cooldown on, on charge or intercept or any of those things, warriors have everything they need and it is a golden era for PvP for warriors in Wrath of the Lich King. If you're looking for a class that uses brute strength to overcome any and all obstacles and you believe that any problem can be solved if you just hit it hard enough, then the path of the warrior might be for you.